the nocturnal mountain pygmy possum, or Burramese, live in small pockets of the subalpine and alpine areas in Victoria and New South Wales. It's one of the smallest and more endangered marsupials in Australia. The first evidence that a mountain pygmy possum actually existed was the discovery of fossil remains in the Wombian Caves in New South Wales in 1894. No specimens were recorded for 60 years and the possum was therefore thought to be extinct. In 1966, however, the Burramoose was found alive and well in the University Ski Club at the Mount Hotham Ski Resort. Well, it caused quite a, a furor in the, in the uh, scientific world because this was a species that was only known from fossil evidence and uh, that, that evidence was uh, from an area in New South Wales and uh, it, it really was uh, a new discovery and at the time uh, it was considered to be uh, a totally new species and it wasn't until the uh, fossil evidence was uh, compared that it was established that it was in fact the mountain pygmy possums which at that time was the, the first uh, known example of a living specimen. The mountain pygmy possum has dense fur on its back and underside for insulation in winter. To help it survive the intense cold the possum enters a state of hibernation. They're the only marsupial to do so. It has a prehensile tail and fused toes which it uses to manoeuvre around its habitat. This habitat consists of small alpine shrubs and boulders which provide a sheltered environment in both summer and winter and protection from natural predators. These shrubs are also a valuable food source. It feeds on the fruit of the mountain plum pine. The plentiful bogong moths are another staple of the possum diet. The natural breeding system of the Burramese makes you wonder how they survive at all. The females occupy the optimum habitat, while the males are relegated downslope to the less preferred areas. The breeding season commences around September, October, and by mid-November, the young are in the pouch. The main threat to the Burramies is habitat destruction. Human activities have brought about the development of alpine resorts and their associated problems, such as weed invasion, soil erosion, and the introduction of predators, all of which have brought the possum to the brink of extinction. Roadways constructed at the Mount Hotham Ski Resort also interrupted the possum's normal breeding habits. The male possums, living in the lower mountain area, had to run the gauntlet of traffic to reach the females higher up. The solution? The tunnel of love. And it was decided that in a, uh, a prime habitat area, the road would be effectively sliced open and very large box culverts were, were placed under the road and uh, connecting rock screes were uh, enhanced so as to lead the, um, the habitat into the corridor and it effectively forms a, a rocky void underneath the road system which is open to pygmy possum movement but precludes things like foxes and cats. Another mechanism to aid the survival of the species was the establishment in 1986 of a captive breeding colony at the Hillsville Sanctuary in Victoria. The staff provide the Burramese with a well-balanced diet and simulated environment. Constant monitoring of the possums is also carried out in order to regulate this environment to promote breeding success. The survival of the mountain pygmy possum has been a major concern, especially for the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, who have undertaken to monitor the possum in an attempt to ensure its natural population is maintained. 
we undertake uh, annual monitoring programs, uh, particularly in the Hotham Lock population, which is uh, the largest of the known Victorian populations. And that involves going up in November and uh, sometimes also in February, and we analyse the population by setting out traps and capturing individuals, and uh, that involves also a tagging process. We, we look at the sex and we uh, weigh individuals, and overall we can gain a good insight into how that population is going. Further cooperation is necessary before the future of the mountain peepee possum can be guaranteed. A compromise must be reached in order to find a balance between human and possum needs. If this can be done, and if the population increases, we may be able to save the Burmese parvas from eternal absence.